Hello everybody, what's happening today? Welcome to day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas Cars Diecasts and today we are going to take a look at Bill Crazy A number 86. So let's get... So, anyway, let's get right into the review. Bill was one of the Crazy 8 racers that participated at the Crazy 8 race of, one of the cra I mean, one of the Crazy 8 races of 2017. And we're all, and most of them were taken out by Miss Fritter. Although my favorite part of Cars 3 was was Bill himself saying, Hi, Patty. And then Patty replied back, Oh, hey, Bill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was, it was very funny there, I must admit. So anyway, let's get right into the details. We have his grumpy, angry expression, and he's painted blue and red, and, and we have... And on the hood, we have the the Luxo Junior Ball, which is a a which had been seen in numerous of Pixar films. And we've got and on the left side, we've got red with a yellow stripe and a bit of blue on the enamel, and with the yellow and red star on the rims, and with blue wall tires and with the yellow number 86 to reference the year that Pixar was founded and on the top we have another 86 and we have the red bumper and in the blue back headlights and a and the Luxo Junior Ball and on the right side same design anyway let's compare them to T and Bill shares the same body as T-Bone but a bit Ben, but bented. And there are slight differences on the back sides. We got T Bone has tailpipes, while Bill doesn't. And, and another thing T Bone is bent, while Bill is straightened. Although T-bone here has been straightened once, but then got bent it again. And, and, fun, and let's compare them to other other cars with the number 86, like Chick Hicks, for example, who both share the same number. And let's compare them to the Pixar, him to other pick other cars with. Pixar references. We have, we have the age. We got Todd, the Pizza Planet truck, who all, who made most appearances in the Pixar films except for The Incredibles, and he was also, and he has also appeared in all three films, and is also one of the Crazy Eight contenders. And we've got, we also have, have, have made. Mater, who has A113 on his license plate, and the number was also seen on Trev the Diesel Train and and Siddeley the Spy Jet, and on and on Sterling's room you know, office number, and we've also and Dexter Hoover, Dexter Hoover, who has the same code number with the letters CA on his license plate. And Mac Icar, who who bears the Apple logo, which Apple teamed up Apple founder Steve Jobs teamed up with director John Lasseter to found Pixar in 1986 and Lightyear the 
I mean, Al Oft, the Lightyear brand, blimp, who bears the brand Lightyear on both sides, which Lightyear is a reference to Goodyear Tires, the tire company of NASCAR, and a reference to Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. And it also says on Lightning McQueen's entire brand, which, which Lightning McQueen made a cameo in Toy Story 3 and Finding Dory, a shadow, and, and I give Finding Dory a fifth anniversary, a happy fifth anniversary, happy fifth anniversary in Finding Dory, and 15th anniversary of Cars, and happy 10th anniversary of Cars 2. Speaking of Cars 2, we have Finn McMissile, who appeared as a who appeared as a cameo in Toy Story 3 as a teaser for Cars 2. And we have Van, who who appeared as Andy's mom's van in Toy Story 3, but with the code number A113. Although Van, although Van's voice actor Richard Kind appeared in other Pixar films like A Bug's Life and Toy Story 3 itself, and Inside Out as the voiceover Bing Bong. Speaking of Inside Out, we've got Terry Cargas and Cam Spinner, who bears who's sponsored by Triple Den Gum, which is a Pixar Easter egg cameo in Inside Out itself. Although, I must admit, the Triple Den theme is pretty catchy and irresistible. What do you guys think? Is the Triple Den theme irresistible to you? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. We also have Doc Hudson, who made a brief faceless cameo in The Incredibles. And Flo, who, who resembles Al's getaway, Al's getaway car in Cars 2. Luigi, who made a brief faceless cameo in Finding Nemo. And Strip the King Weathers, who, who bears the Dynaco logo, which the company itself appears as a gas station in the first Toy Story film. And it also made numerous of cameos in numerous Pixar films. And, and Dave. Dave Davy Apex Alternators, or should I, or should I be, or should it be referred to as, or should he be referred to as Davy Apex, who bears the logo Revolting Rebuilt Alternators, a battery company which made a cameo in Toy Story 3. Sheriff Woody, who, Sheriff Woody, who appeared as a Cars character in the drive-in theater scene. Buzz Lightcar, or should I refer to as Buzz Lightyear, here, who also appeared in the drive-in theater scene and, and also has the Pixar logo on the bumper. Ham, who also, another drive-in theater car, cameo car, and is also voiced by the same voice actor as Mac. And finally, Michael Mike B. Wazowski. And, and some of the... And Pixar's location is Emeryville, and some of the cars are made by Emery Craft. We've got Timothy Two Strokes, Murphy, Charlie Cargo, Nelson Blindspot, 
and Jonathan Renschwartz. And and cars and also and another thing, cars came out out the following year, year after Red's voice actor, Joe Ramft, who also worked on non-Pixar films like The Brave Little Toaster and The Nightmare Before Christmas. And also The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, one of my favorite Disney films, and and all and the as as well as the rescuers down along with the rescuers down under and Oliver and Company. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that Joe Ramp also worked on worked on James and the Giant Peach, and he also worked and also collaborated with John Lasseter and John Ratzenberger on the Pixar films from in Toy Story and Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo, A Bug's Life, and Monsters Incorporated. So, rest in peace, Joe Ramft. So, what do you guys think? Which Pixar reference car is your favorite? And which Crazy 8 racer is your favorite as well? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for day 12A tomorrow. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and I, as well as, and, and I, and what are you getting? And what do you have your eyes, and what's, and what do you have your eyes set for Christmas Day this year? Please leave it, please leave it in the comments down below as well. So, see you guys then. Merry Christmas. See you guys tomorrow for day 12A tomorrow. Well, Merry Christmas. Goodbye now.